this list. The price is right, Bob. Perfectly. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> and I said in. it was a vintage Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Bruce. My friends call me Fluff, and today on Risk Beards and Gear, we're gonna see if a bunch of my friends can guess the least expensive to most expensive 5150 variant. So I am here at the lovely Sweetwater Studios facilities during GearFest 2023, and I thought it would be a little fun to see if some of my friends could hear and play through a bunch of different amplifiers of various price points and pick out what is the most expensive to least expensive in any order that they deem, you know, sonically fit. And we have a few curveballs. And I'm not going to tell you guys the amps either, so you guys can play along at home if you so choose. The timestamps are down below in the description if you wanna skip ahead to any one person and their guesses, and I will tell you guys everything there is to know at the end of this video. Let's get started, shall we? So first up is my dear friend, Mr. Kyle Bull. Now, what we are doing here today, Kyle, okay. is we are shooting out seven different 5150 variants. That's higher than I can count. Right. Both I know. numbers. But we'll get by. That's okay. why I'm here. All right. You have an adult here. So, you are going to play this lovely Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray that is in drop D. Okay. You can put it in E standard if you'd like. Okay. You can switch between all seven amps, and just based on playing them and what you're hearing through the monitors, you have to try to guess and put them in some sort of an order okay. from least expensive to most expensive sounding. Okay. Now, you do get to know that the first amp is an OG PV5150, right up there at the top. Now there are six other amplifiers. They're 5150-ish they're circuits. Ish. Ish. Okay. So they're not all EVH, they're not all e, uh, PVs, nothing like that. Okay. So they're all just- All Bugera? They're high gain, they are all Bugera. All right, perfect. And thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later, link down below in the description. <laughs> no, um, you have to just tell me what you think they are. Okay. And just rank them in order from least to most expensive. You also have an Ibanez Tube Screamer, if you so choose. Good old Tub Screamer. And yeah, you are going through, what you are hearing is uh, an SM57, and a 121 in front of a Rev 412 loaded with Slush and Vintage 30s. I can get behind that. Very, very classic setup. Yes, sir. So without further ado, we're gonna start with the OG 5150. Get my bearings. It has all the balls. Yep. All right, so let's, of course, we gotta get a tube screamer on in here. All right, still saggy. All right. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. Amp. Amp number two. Amp number two. Okay. Okay. Amp number three. Okay. Okay. Amp number four. What amp was that? Like what number? That was number four. Okay. Num number one is mute. But you can also look over there too yeah. for the Cayenne switcher. I didn't see that till now. So now we are amp number five. All right. It's 
Impossible. Okay. Okay. Next. Amp number six. Okay. Okay. All right. Last but not least, amp number seven. All right. Okay. Up next in the least to most high gain amp shootout, we have my dear friend Hunter. Happy to be here. And so here's what we're doing today. We are taking a total of seven different 5150 flavored amplifiers, and you have to guess the least expensive to most expensive. Kind of just rank them okay. at, by playing them. You also have an optional Ibanez tube screamer, yes. if you so choose. Yeah. And the first amp I'm gonna give you, we're gonna start and use it as control an original PV5150. <laughs> so like Whereas Kyle, really... <laughs> Kyle, Kyle actually nailed one of them right away. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay, so All that's right. the control. That's the, that's the PV5150. Sounds like it. Just to get your bearings. Okay. Okay. All right, nailed it. You, very good. <laughs> okay, so amp, amp number two. Okay. Give her a rip. Okay. Not that it's going to help me at all, but what is it? What is it running through? So all of these amplifiers are running through a Rev 412 loaded with uh, Slush and Vintage 30s, and the microphone you are hearing is a, an SM57 and a 121 classic combination. Okay. It's the metal core. And and Kyle only got one. One what? Uh, one one amp right. I yes. mean, he nailed it. Okay. He got one amp right. And this now, the is objective is to not really guess the amps, but you can if you'd like. Okay. The objective is to guess most expensive yeah. to least expensive. But I'm just I'm just trying but to yes. set the bar because sure. like that means that I just need to like you know if he only mm -hmm. got one and this is his thing, then... this is his thing. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. So, we'll so and I can switch the amps when whenever you feel like you've got uh, gotten your bearings. Okay. We can go move on to the next amp. Okay. Right. Cool. No, I'm just taking pressure off myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no cool. you're good. All right. You're good. There's no pressure. Okay. Okay. Next. Amp number three. Go back to the other one. Oh, I'm so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amp all right, all right. number four. This is the one that Kyle instantly knew what it was. Okay. 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 You want to move think. on? You want to keep going? I think I think I've got I think I've got something in my head. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Amp number five. It's a lot noise here. So funny. I would be happy with any of these, you know? Also, it's interesting to note that this amplifier sounded really, really tubby with Kyle. Oh, really? You, it does, it sounds, it sounds different. Okay, so tone yeah. is in the Apparently, balls. it's in the flannel. It's in the flannel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, amp number six. Okay. That is my least favorite one by far. <laughs> that is my least favorite one, and if that's the most expensive one, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Okay. This is number six. Okay. On this is basically uh, yeah, one yeah. is mute. Okay, all right, all right. 
So, all right, hate, all right. and we'll last but not least, amp number seven. Oh. Next up, we have Mr. Andrew Baina. Hello. Hello, sir. How are I'm you? Good. How are you? I'm very tired, but other than that, I'm great. I am tired, too. We are here at Gear Fest and just going pretty hard. That three-hour jet lag Same, for both of dude, us. It's yeah. pretty brutal. So I thought we would add to the insanity, and we're going to do a little amp shootout. This is in drop D. Oh, thank God. Everything here is in E standard, and I'm like, I, I don't know. know how to play this. I know. I know. So our control amp that you're hearing right now is the... PV5150. Okay. And we're going into a 412, Rev 412 with a Selection Vintage 30. Okay. Classic, classic setup. The metal core sound. Yes. Can't go wrong with that. Awesome. Can't go wrong with right? that. Right? Yeah. Okay. Amp number two. Okay. Interesting. Sounds okay. good. Yeah, it does. But definitely, okay. so, definitely sounds different, though. Yep, yep. Amp number three. Okay. Okay. Amp number four. They're so similar, some of them. It's like, oh man, <laughs> how am I supposed to get? <laughs> Okay. okay. Amp number five. How am I supposed to guess any of this? <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely not guessing the brand of any of them for okay. sure now. Okay. Is there one more? There's two more. Two more? Okay. Amp number six. Okay. Last amp, amp number seven. How's that like bite? Okay, interesting. Okay, do you wanna go back and play any of them? Do you wanna oh, boost, man. not boost? Do you wanna, or do you just wanna hmm. try to rank them? Next up, with our least to most expensive amp shootout, we got Uncle Ben Eller, everyone. Hey kids, it's good buddy. Uncle Ben, thanks for having me, Brian. I'm so happy to be with you again. You look great. We My look, name's not we Brian. Look we look great. Okay, stop touching me. Thanks for having me here. You, can, you know that I like things that are nice, but sometimes nice things are trash, too. That's true. You've seen my camera equipment. I have. It's garbage. I have. Yes. yes. And I like is. trash. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, that's why you're here now, because you like me. <sighs> there we go. I'm, I'm trash. Nice okay, trash. so here's what we're doing today. We are going to shoot out seven different amplifiers pew, pew, pew. and you don't get to know what these amplifiers are until the end of the shootout what, could it be? what you are trying to do is you are trying to figure out based on feel and sound yes least expensive to most expensive 5150 flavored amplifiers these are all high gain affairs okay this is going to be doing. kind of an interesting thing for me because i typically play by smell so if you're taking smell out of the mm -hmm. equation this is going to be like flying blind for me when i play by taste i like to mm. lick my amplifiers yeah yeah, yeah. Get and the then flavor. I'm like, okay i like that don't like that yeah you know get the uh, the snozberries and get the tannins on top exactly yeah. right so we are going to let you see the very first amplifier to get you Get you some flavor going. All right, all right. An original PV5150. Okay, the and classic. And you are going through a 412 slash Vintage 30 cabinet, and you are in drop D currently. You feel free to tune it up if you'd like. Okay, I, I would. And you have an Ibanez Tube Screamer at your disposal. Okay, so I can boost it and stuff so yep. I can see how it reacts That's to that. That's right. Okay, all right, yep. well. That's just a classic taste right there. Oh, so that is with the boost on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was gonna say like, golly, what's a wow. boost doing in front of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me try unboosted here. Where that low end kind of bloom on yeah. it. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Control group. That is just a regular old fifty one fifty. Yep. Okay. That's got right. It. Amp number two. Amp number two. No boost. No boost. That's actually a lot different than the last one. It's pretty different. Let's boost it up here. Okay, that feels moderately pricey, I think. I think okay. the interest rate on that was probably affordable. Okay. It's livable. Okay, okay. So next is amp number three. Okay. So this is already like pretty compressed with the boost on. It cleans up a little bit. It's luxurious. It's good. I'd like to bathe in it. I, I very much like that tone. Yeah. yeah. Next is amp number four. Number four. Okay. All right. I gotta say, that one feels really good to play on. Right? Like, it feels really nice. But this is deceptive because price doesn't always equal nice. That is true. Deceptive. That's very more. true. Wow. Okay, these are similar-ish. This is kind of tough, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's number four. I like that one a lot. That was really fun yeah. to play on. Yep. Number five. That's darker. Definitely Much darker. darker. Yeah, woolly. <laughs> I think that one's more compressed than the last one. I like how that takes a boost. Yeah, it does take nice. a boost quite nicely, yeah. So with that. I gotta say, it's really tough when you put that thing in there where it's like, well, which one is the most expensive? Which one sounds the most expensive? Mm -hmm. That gets tricky, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, I think, the darkest and tubbiest yet. It does boost pretty nicely, it though. It does. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, dude. Okay. Yeah, These are all starting to really bleed together in my head now, man. We're going to go back. We can go okay. back right. and we can review. And last but not least, amp number seven. Okay. And copyright strike. Yeah, You're thank welcome. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't feel like that one boosts as well. Like that one's already toothy and pretty mean up agree. front. I don't think I think this is one of the only ones I don't like what the boost is doing.
It's like it almost gets like too squishy or Agreed. something, you know? Sure. It's okay though. Okay. okay, so this is the part where I get to tell you what amps I'm they are. I'm excited to see how wrong I am. All right. Okay, so let's go back. Okay. There's this our is the OG The goat. All right. Yep. Amp number two is a 50 watt EVH 5153. Oh no. 6L6. Oh no, not even close. All right. If you would have told me it was the EL34, I actually would have thought. Right. But yeah, that would have made right. more sense. Okay. Amp three. Yes. Go ahead. Is channel four, the red channel of a rev generator 120. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. We're doing great so far. Nailed it. Amp number four is the EVH iconic. Nailed it. You nailed it. I knew right it. Away. I knew it. Really, right really away. impressive. Okay, cool. Okay. So that at least saves some credibility for my channel. I was like, so. wow, you're really confident. You're yeah. coming in hot. <laughs> Amp number five. This is the one you noted as Tubby. Yes. Is the Soldano SLO 100. Oh no! I thought the mids on the on the eight were very SLO. If you had them like six, seven. I would agree. Yeah. I would agree, but and, nope. Okay. I lost that one myself. That makes sense, actually, yeah. because it's not tight. Amp number six. Okay. This is a Boss Katana. <laughs> and I said in. it was a vintage Marshall. <laughs> coming in at $369. So, this that is, is the cheapest, cheapest amplifier. Amp. That rules. Perfect. <laughs> you guys really. And then lastly, yes. amp number seven. That you thought was a Soldano is a PV6505 Mini. Well, then that's not too far off, right? You weren't you weren't too far in off. In the ballpark. You in were the actually were ballpark. I'll give you that one. All right, cool. Kyle, thank Dude, you so much for playing. That was a lot of fun, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Next. I'm gonna go find a new career. <laughs> <laughs> so we what okay, so we're just gonna work backwards, right? So okay. we're on the last amp. We're on okay. number seven. All right. You are playing through a PV6505 Mini. Anemic. EL84s. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Amp number six. Yeah, I didn't like this one. This is a Boss Katana. Oh, really? $369. This is the cheapest amplifier in the whole oh, lot. I was so close. You were actually very, uh, very close. Okay, all right. Right? Yeah, the response is a little different. It is. The it is, but... Three hundred sixty-nine bucks. Right. That's yeah. pretty all right. Yeah, that's right. not bad at all. Amp number five. Iconic. Soldano SLM one hundred. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No wonder they don't want to work with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Amp number four. Wait, where did I where did I rank that one? Uh, you ranked. Uh, amp six as one of the least, the second least expensive. Cool. Or yeah, least expensive. Yeah. Nice. You didn't like it at all. No, I didn't. No. Amp number four. Yeah, these ones like, these ones I kind of thought were very very similar, but this is the iconic. Oh, this is the iconic. This is the iconic. Iconic sounds good, man. Kyle Bull instantly went, "That's an iconic." Well, Kyle. And he just dropped the hammer. Like, that's an iconic. He, I mean, all right, there you go. I was like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Iconic. It's the first time I've played through one, so I it's mean, awesome. it sounds pretty it's good. It's awesome. Yeah. Amp number three, which you ranked pretty much the third least expensive, and you thought it was a PV6505 combo. That's what it sounded. It sounded like there was like kind of a blanket over here. Versus the previous ones. That is a Rev Generator 120 retailing for $3,399. Oh shit, I that like that second, amp too. <laughs> that's the second, second most expensive amplifier besides the Soldano SLO 100. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was more of like a rectifier E tone. Yeah, I can see how you'd think that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah, it's just a, it's a shitty 65.5 tone, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, amplifier number two. All right. This is an EVH 5153 50 watt. Oh, okay. Did I like it? And you you put amp number two at the third most expensive. You oh. liked it. Yeah. You liked it. 
Yeah, I just got a, my first EVA champ, and I really like it. So okay. that, that might be what I'm in the mood for. Okay, there you go. Cool. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much Thanks, for uh, destroying my street cred. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Next. It's going to be like pod farm number one, baby. <laughs> so your most expensive... You chose, right now you are on the PV6505 Mini. <laughs> oh my God. The Mini, which retails for six ninety nine ninety nine. Is that the cheapest one? That is not the cheapest okay, one. Okay, interesting. Okay, this is, good. this is where it gets good. <laughs> this is where it gets real good. So, amp, amp number six, which is your second favorite, mm -hmm. is the least expensive amplifier, being a Boss Katana oh at $369.99. It sounds really good. <laughs> it does sound good, so whatever, I it guess. It sounds That's awesome. So funny. Right? So, next amplifier on your list was amplifier number four. Amplifier number four is an EVH Iconic, 50 watt. Okay. Or 80 watt, excuse me, uh, for thirteen forty nine. Okay. All right. Uh, your next, so going down, so you thought amp three was pretty middle of the road, lower middle of the road, expensive. Mm -hmm. Amp number three is the second most expensive on this amp, uh, on amp list. It was the Rev Generator 120. Oh no, the one I even have. The, <laughs> the, the red channel specifically. Oh my god. Um, second least expensive, you thought it was amp number five, which is the most expensive amplifier on this list, Soldano SLO 100. God damn it. <laughs> and then the least expensive amplifier you chose amp number two, which is the EVH 515350 watt amplifier. God, which is another amp that I actually have. Which is a great, <laughs> and a great, great amp. amplifier. So there you go. Andrew, thank you so much for playing. I really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. This is why I stick to plugins. <laughs> Visual guitarist. That's right. Visual, Visual guitarist. guitarist. Yeah. All right. All right. Next. Thanks so much. Thanks. So your least expensive amplifier was amplifier number six which is the Boss Katana, which is actually the least expensive amplifier yeah! on this list. The price is right, Bob. It was not the iconic, however, you were right about being the least expensive amplifier. Hey, that's tricky too, though. I didn't know there was gonna be a boss You in went the house. for the noise factor, which no one else did. Homeschool. Very, very smart. You've obviously spent a lot of time with a lot of different amplifiers. Yeah, yeah digital amps is like, there, there's always a little bit of cheating in terms of the noise force. Of course. Though, so that was kind of the giveaway. It still felt great to play on. Amp number two, second least expensive. You chose amp number four. That was the EVH Iconic. Ah, okay. So, so is that still on track for being? Oh, no. no. You might have had one of the lunchbox heads on there. I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh, okay. So but, that was the Iconic. Amp, amp, amp number four was iconic. Your second least expensive okay. was the iconic. And again, now, some of the noise floor stuff was kind of a giveaway on that one. Now, too. the iconic is the third least expensive on the actual list. Okay, so I was okay. off my points on that one. Yes, you were. Uh, your third least expensive amplifier, you chose amplifier number two, which was the EVH 50 watt, EV30, or E5153 50 watt. Yes, okay. Ed. So, yep. that's. You were pretty close. Okay. You and were again, pretty I, close. I have had one of those before too, so I kind of know that feel. It's more like chainsaw y than the yes. 100 watt yes. big brother of it. Yeah. Lots, lots of low end in, yeah. in, that, in that thing. Yeah. So, uh, fourth least expensive amplifier you chose, amplifier three, we're getting kind of expensive here, yeah, yeah. is the second most expensive on this list, the Rev Generator 120. Oh, that's a Rev on that there. That was dude. a Rev. What? Oh, dang. That was a Rev. Can I hear it again? Uh, yeah. I can kind of tell That's now. A yeah, now that you mentioned, it's like, yeah, that kind of does have that gain structure. Yeah, yeah a little Marshall EQ it. section kind of A little of thing. bit. Yeah, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So I was close. Yeah. No, okay. That's all right. Very respectable. Awesome. Your second most expensive amplifier for you was amplifier number five, which was the Soldano SLO 100, which was the ex most expensive amplifier. That's the amplifier. most expensive one. Okay. Yeah. I'm off by like a place on most you're, of these. You're right on. Wow. You're pretty right on, I will say. Dang, that's dope. Your most expensive amplifier, number six, was Amp 7, which was not expensive at all. It was the PV6505 Mini. That's the Mini? That's the Mini. That's the one that I thought was like the 100 watt because yep. I didn't like how it boosted? Yep. That's the Mini? That's the Mini. What? Yep. And I mini thought that was the most expensive one. Six ninety nine ninety nine. So I was kind of right and then extremely wrong. Uh, yes. <laughs> but overall... <laughs> Overall, you are pretty damn right on it. All right, man. Cool. Yeah, very nicely done, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. having me, dude. All right. That was fun. Here is the actual amplifier list. I have my list of doom right here. Uh, from least expensive to most expensive, it was the Boss Katana, 
the PV6505 MH, the EVH Iconic, the EVH 50 watt, the Rev Generator 120, and the Soldano SLO 100. I will put this on the screen and also note down below. I will also link to all of these amplifiers down below. If you would like to check out more information on them, head on over to Sweetwater.com. And thank you so much for Sweetwater Studios for letting me take over the studio for the day. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.